Exchange Center series. In this series we're going to be looking at work experience and why it is so valuable as part of your learning. I'm Bruce McLaughlin and I'm the manager of a Knowledge Exchange Center. Before we go much further we ought to explore why work experience is so important. Your education at college or university really underpins the sector that you're going into. You gain all the knowledge, all the learning, all the theories, and those are really, really important things and will certainly stand you in good stead. But the other half of that equation is turning that learning into practical experience, into practical knowledge. To give you a slightly silly but really illustrative example, Think about learning to drive. Can you imagine just trying to learn to drive in a classroom or by reading a book? It just wouldn't work, would it? You'd know all the theory, all the practical sides of it, but you wouldn't be able to apply them. You'd sit in a car and it would feel totally alien to you. And it's the same thing with anything in life. Of course the learning is important, that's why you're all studying hard. But translating that learning into practical experience is absolutely vital. And that's where work placements, work experience, work that you do whilst you're on summer recess, work that you do at weekends, is so important as part of your learning. And whilst perhaps the job itself isn't your dream job or your part of your dream career, at every single workplace there are things that you will learn. Things that will stand you in good stead for the future. Very often students have said to me, Bruce, I have a real problem. I'm looking for the ideal job. All the jobs that I'm interested in say must have experience. But I don't have very much experience. I've been studying, I've not had a chance to get out there and work. How do I get experience without getting a job? It's a catch-22 problem. And it's one that all of you will face. A part of the answer to that, of course, is recognising experience for what it is. Let me give you a really practical example. You spent the summer working in a seaside town where you were in charge of hiring out deck chairs. Don't sound very exciting does it? Is that going to look particularly good on your CV? Deck chair hirer? It's not exactly saying much is it? However, if you think constructively about it, there's an awful lot more that you could make from that experience. Let me explain. To start with, you could talk about the importance of pricing. You could be saying, we were charging £5 for a deck chair, I was taking about £500 a day, my boss was very happy, when he came to collect the money each day he was delighted because £500 was what they'd been taking last year, so he was happy. I was doing well, he was doing well. But then one day I turned around and I looked at the big stack of deck chairs that were behind me that nobody had hired out made me think what if I lowered the price to £4.50 per deck chair? I could make a big poster to advertise that and start seeing whether I could sell more deck chairs for hire. So the next day I filled my pockets with 50p's and pound coins and put up my big poster advertising the chairs at £4.50. Because psychologically £4.50 sounded a lot less than £5, my sales grew rapidly and instead of £500 a day my takings went up to £1,200 for a day. 
when my boss came to collect the money that day, first of all, he was really cross because he saw that I'd lowered the price to £4.50. He was quite angry because he thought I was going to be giving him £450 instead of £500. But when I counted out £1,200, he was absolutely delighted. So the lesson that I learned from that was the importance of pricing and recognising the time when lowering a price might actually increase revenue through sales into your till. Having learned about the importance of pricing, my next piece of learning was that of sales. I saw lots of families struggling with all their beach staff, with two or three children, picnic baskets, drink bottles. They certainly had no spare hands for picking up deck chairs. So what did I do? I thought, well, why don't I carry some chairs over and offer them the chairs? So instead of standing there waiting for people to come to me, I took the chairs out to the families and said, would you like to hire a deck chair? They're only £4.50 for the day each. And of course, because it was easy, because it was convenient, they were all taking me up on that offer. My takings were going up again. But I didn't stop there. I noticed that with most families, mum and dad took the chairs and didn't do anything for their kids. Because, well, the kids can sit on a blanket, they can sit on the beach, they'll be running around, which is probably true for a lot of the time. But I thought to myself, well, what about if I made a special offer? Buy four deck chairs, get one for free. You'll see lots of supermarkets making offers like that. So that's what I did. Buy four deck chairs, only pay for three. Guess what? You're right, those sales went up again. And soon I was hitting £2,000 a day with my sales. So that simple piece of experience now translates into something really, really useful for you to sell at interview. Which would you like to say to the interviewer? I hired out deck chairs. It's not going to get you a job, is it? Whereas if you talk about what you learnt about sales, what you learnt about marketing, what you learnt about customer service, how you increased takings fourfold, now that sort of thing is real experience and that gets you a job. So just remember, everything that you do in the workplace adds to the experience that you learn. Bye for now.